Wow. Is it all over? I'm afraid so, Rupert. Oh, what a pity. In another moment, you might have been strangling each other instead of a chicken. Mr. Cadell, really? No, no, but a man's honor was at stake. And personally, I think a chicken is as good a reason for murder as a blonde, a mattress full of dollar bills, or any of the customary unimaginative reasons. Well, now, you don't really approve of murder, Rupert, if I may. You may, and I do. Think of the problems it would solve. Unemployment, poverty, standing in line for theater tickets. I must say I've had a perfectly dreadful time getting tickets for that new musical. What's it called? You know. The something with what's her name? <laughs> My dear Miss Atwater, careful application of the trigger finger and a pair of seats in the first row is yours for the shooting. And have you had any difficulty in getting into our velvet rope restaurant? Frightful. A very simple matter. A flick of the knife, madame. And if you'll kindly step this way, oh no, a step <laughs> over the head waiter's body. <laughs> Thank you. And here's your table. <laughs> Rupert, you're the end. There's a hotel clerk I could cheerfully flick a knife at. Oh, no, sorry. Knives may not be used on hotel employees. They are in the death by slow torture category. Oh. <laughs> along with bird lovers, small children, and tap dancers. <laughs> Landlords, of course, are another matter. You're seeking an apartment? Call on our Miss Sashwaite of the <laughs> Blunt Instrument Department. <laughs> what a divine idea. If it suits your purpose, merely... But then we'd all be murdering each other. Oh, no. Oh, no. After all, murder is, or should be, an art. Not one of the seven lively, perhaps, but an art nevertheless. And as such, the privilege of committing it should be reserved for those few who are really superior individuals. And the victims, inferior beings whose lives are unimportant anyway. Obviously. Now, mind you, I don't hold with the extremists who feel that there should be open season for murder all year round. No. Personally, I would prefer to have cut a throat week oh. <laughs> or a strangulation day. <laughs> Probably a symptom of approaching senility, but I must confess that I really don't appreciate this morbid humor. Well, the humor was unintentional. But you're not serious about these theories. Of course he is. Oh, you're both pulling my leg. No, why do you think that? Well, Brandon, the notion that murder is an art which a few superior beings should be allowed to practice. In season. <laughs> now, I know you're not serious. But I am. I'm a very serious fellow. Then may I ask, who is to decide that a human being is inferior and is therefore a suitable victim for murder? The few who are privileged to commit murder. And just who might they be? Oh, myself. Philip? Possibly, Rupert. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, Kenneth. You're out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm serious. So are we, Mr. Cantley. The few are those men of such intellectual and cultural superiority that they're above the traditional moral concepts. Good and evil, right and wrong, were invented for the ordinary average man, the inferior man, because he needs them. Then obviously you agree with Nietzsche and his theory of the Superman. Yes, I do. So did Hitler. Hitler was a, a paranoid savage. His supermen, all fascist supermen, were brainless murderers. I'd hang any who were left. But then you see, I'd hang them first for being stupid. I'd hang all incompetents and fools anyway. There are far too many in the world. Then perhaps you should hang me, Brandon, for I confess I'm so stupid I don't know whether you're all serious or not. But in any case, I'd rather not hear any more of your, forgive me, contempt for humanity and for the standards of a world that I believe is civilized. Civilized? Yes. Perhaps what is called civilization is hypocrisy. Perhaps. Well, I'm sure Rupert, fortunately... Oh, now, gentlemen, ...has really, the intelligence I... and imagination Please, to... Brandon, I think we've had just about enough. 